Hi there, I'm Peter Millard and this is 10 Minute Workshop, where 10 minutes in the workshop is never enough, it's never 10 minutes and it's never 10 minutes wasted. In the workshop this week, well, we're taking a break from our Christmas gift ideas for others and instead we're going to think about you, Christmas gift ideas that you might like. That's coming up next. So yeah, it's round about now that we're getting hints and comments from family members saying, oh, you're so difficult to buy for. There must be something in your workshop that you want. And right there, your eyes light up and then fade instantly because you know that not talking about anything from Lee Nielsen or a new bandsaw. Uh, so I thought I'd put together a little shopping list, a little roundup of gift ideas that you might not realise are useful, that you might not think of. Uh, they vary in price from pocket money stocking stuffers and go all the way up to things that are a little bit more indulgent because hey, if you're not going to be indulgent at this time of year, when are you going to be indulgent? We'll start with something that I use all the time. Yeah, I made an all joke. It's this little guy. It's a... Uh, it's a, actually from tailoring. Uh, they're called a clicker's awl uh, or a pattern maker's awl. It's, it's quite a small awl. This is 10 minute workshop Dr. Zeus edition. Why all are small? Or all are small. Um, it's a small awl uh, with a fairly thin tine. Uh, it is staggeringly cheap. It is just 60 pence on Amazon with free shipping. I don't know how anybody is making any money on that. I hope they are. I'm glad they do it. <laughs> I've got a few of these scattered around. Uh, it's just really handy little thing, not just for bodging holes and things, but for sort of carefully marking out or, or just ticking along a workpiece where things need to go. Um, obviously there are other awls available, you could go the whole hog and get the uh, full-on Irwin marples, stainless steel and brass and beechwood thing for about 10 times the price. You know what, they make a hole in things, that's what they do. Uh, awls, very useful, very handy. Uh, I always have, always have a few of these knocking around the workshop and one in every toolbox. Moving on from that, um, Something I use an awful lot is this little guy. This is a grass um, hinge drilling guide. It's the kind of thing, uh, a drilling template for concealed hinges, um, you know, kitchen cabinet type hinges. I've got to say, whilst it's incredibly useful for that, uh, I use it most of all as a saddle square uh, to, to continue a line from one face around the workpiece. Um, it's just really handy. It's it's perfectly square. Uh, they're very cheap, uh, about £2.40 I think. Other uh, um, other hinge drilling guides are available of course, but this one is, is the only one that I've found that also does that sort of saddle square function. They, for some reason they are a little bit more expensive in the US, I don't really know why, um, but about £2.40 £2 uh, from Amazon here in the UK. Incredibly useful, uh, performs several functions, uh, which is what we like. Uh, next up, talking to performing several functions, both measuring and marking, is my little Barco 6-inch, um, 150mm combination square. Again, these are fantastic value, 5 or £6 pounds on Amazon, just so useful, absolutely dead square, handy for all kinds of measuring, depth gauging, uh, buy two of them, set them against each other, use it to offset your um, track saw guides, that sort of thing. I use them all the time for all kinds of things. I have a couple here in the workshop and one in every tool bag. Uh, just incredibly useful, uh, well worth the five or six pounds that they cost. Next up, uh, we've got tape measures. Now I'm very, very fortunate. Uh, a lot of people have commented on my uh, nice blue um, towel meter tape measure. Uh, I love these, they're absolutely fantastic. I am fortunate, my friend Henrik from Sweden sent me the full set of these ones. Um, ranging from, you know, six metres all the way down to two. But unfortunately, they're not made anymore. Uh, Talmeter was bought out by another Swedish company called Hotterforce, uh, and they have updated, they've streamlined uh, the range, but they've updated their uh, tape measures, and I've got to say, they've done a fantastic job. This is the Hotterforce three metre tape measure, and it is lovely. Um, one of the slight niggles with the old one was getting the little spiky bit out at the end, that's for making internal measurements. Um, whereas this is much, much smoother, altogether a nicer 
designed piece of kit. Uh, about £14 on Amazon, so slightly on the indulgent side for a tape measure, for a three metre tape measure anyway, uh, but great value uh, when you start using it. Uh, I love mine, would not want to be without them. Uh, next up, talking from moving from measuring to marking, um, I know you can buy a, a bargain tub of 50 pencils for a couple of pounds from your local supermarket. Spend a little bit more and buy yourself some Staedtler Norris pencils. These are the classic yellow and black school pencil, um, uh, tested to near destruction in an environment more hostile than anything you can imagine, a classroom full of seven-year-olds. These are about £2.50, £2.70, something like that, for a box of a dozen. Uh, if you're feeling indulgent or slightly flush, then you can pick up a box of 50 for about £8. Uh, incredibly good value. Uh, the leads don't break or shatter, uh, uh, and they, they are just sort of really well worth the slightly more uh, expensive price that, uh, that is asked of them. Now, we're going to have a little sort of time out here for a second. If you do prefer a mechanical pencil or a propelling pencil, clutch pencil or lead holder, just be warned. I'm not going to give any, any particular recommendations for these. Um, uh, they're not really my kind of thing, and if they're your kind of thing, then to be honest, you've probably got a favourite in mind already. Uh, I'll just say that uh, there is a whole sub-genre of pen and pencil nerdery out there, which is both fascinating and truly slightly <laughs> intimidating. Um, if you think that's your kind of thing, go and take a look at cultpens.com. I'll put that link in the description. Uh, links to all these products are in the description, by the way. Um, uh, again, there is a whole level of pen and pencil fanaticism out there, which I won't, uh, I, I don't get into. Um, I'll just say, you know, propelling pencil, mechanical pencil, uh, the Zebra 1 is very good, around about 40 pence. Uh, the Ma uh, Staedtler 777 is quite nice. There is the Staedtler Mars if you prefer a 2mm lead with a clutch pencil, and if you prefer the fixed pencil lead holder, then you're probably look, probably looking at the Caran Dash, uh, around about £14 if you're feeling indulgent. That's as, that's as far as I go into the pen and pencil nerdery. But getting back to the, uh, the, the Staedtler Norris pencils, the next item is something that you might think of as being a bit of an indulgence, but actually uh, it's only an indulgence to anybody who's never used one. It's the Helix a5 pencil sharpener, uh, a desktop pencil sharpener. This is the pencil sharpener that your primary school teacher had on their desk, the one that only they were allowed to use. It is absolutely fantastic. It's about £10, which is relatively expensive for a pencil sharpener, but it is absolutely superb. Um, it will sharpen pencils quickly and easily to an outstanding point. It actually give you, gives you uh, five degrees of pointiness uh, to your pencil. Why would you want anything other than the most pointy, pointy pencil? I don't know, um, uh, but absolutely fantastic. Uh, uh, about, as I say, about £10 uh, on Amazon for the Helix A5 classic desktop pencil sharpener. Well worth the money. Uh, next up is uh, not a pencil, but in the marking uh, department. Um, get yourself a pack of Sharpies or you know some other permanent marker pen. Just a fine point. A uh, two-pack like this is a couple of pounds. Um, there are times when you want to mark something. Uh, perhaps you put a piece of masking tape on a, on a board and you want to mark that which face it is or whatever else, but maybe it's got a finish on it and maybe you can't press very hard and the pencil mark on the tape just is really hard to read. Uh, a Sharpie in your pocket, I keep my one in uh, the pen pocket of all my trousers, um, just sorts that out perfectly. Uh, as I say, they're a pound each, you know, buy them, keep them handy, they're very, very useful. Uh, next up is more of a gauging uh, thing that I'm measuring or marking. Um, it's a bag of plastic packers. Now, lots of people have asked about these. I use mostly the yellow, green, uh, and blue one, two, and three millimeter packers. Um, if you follow the link in the description that I've given you, they actually have a one and a half mil packer as well, which is really good. Um, I use these a lot as a gauge uh, to gauge uh, door gaps and that kind of thing. And sometimes two mil is just a little bit little bit too gappy. One and a half mil, more or less a sixteenth of an inch, is almost perfect. So this particular bag is really good, but obviously other bags of plastic packers are available. 
Uh, now we come on to some extremely precise measuring instruments. This is the Miroc ruler. Um, I have, I've had this a couple of weeks. Uh, I'll be doing a little, sh little video on it uh, before too long. Um, it is truly an astonishingly precise piece of engineering. Uh, Miroc is in the Ukraine. They ship to the UK in about uh, two weeks, almost to the day it took. Uh, Miroc is actually a, a subscriber, I think his, I think his name is Vladimir Hadlab, um, uh, to the channel. Uh, and, uh, and these are just astonishingly precise. Uh, you will definitely want a mechanical pencil <laughs> to use these, otherwise you'll be sharpening your pencil all day long. Um, I'll be doing a, pro a proper full review of this in, in the next couple of weeks. Uh, they ship uh, from the Ukraine via the Miroc Etsy uh, store and this particular one is about £18 shipped to the UK. So veering into the indulgent side again until you actually have one and use it. It's absolutely fantastic. And of course no uh, segment on measuring and marking would be complete without the Tim Sway square. Now um, I believe by the time you watch this, or rather by the time this video is out, the metric new improved squares will be uh, will have shipped. Um, but it's, it's a fantastic, I, this is my collector's edition number 148 of the original series, um, but it's a fantastic piece of kit. Uh, is it the only square you'll ever need? No, of course not, just as the Miroc ruler isn't the only ruler you'll ever need, um, but it's very useful uh, and very handy to have, uh, and I love mine. Uh, $34, I think, shipped anywhere in the world. Uh, fantastic value, stainless steel, precision, laser cut, and hand finished by Tim Sway, uh, every single one, and of course, uh, uh, all funds go to support Tim's channel, which is uh, excellent news. And last up, we've got a couple of things that are going to be more like sort of everyday carry. Um, this is my pocket multi-tool. It's the Leatherman uh, Skelly tool. I've got a Leatherman Wave, but I'm not generally a belt wearer, so they tend to be a little bit heavy in my pockets. Uh, the Skelly tool is basically that. It's a skeleton tool stripped down to the bare minimum. Uh, it has a decent blade on it. Uh, replaceable bit, screwdriver bits, which is very useful, uh, and a decent set of pliers. Because it's thin and light, uh, the section of the jaws on the pliers aren't that strong, so don't be tempted to grab a hold of a nail and try and lever it out, because um, <coughs> they will break. Don't ask me how I know that. Uh, to their credit, uh, Leatherman replaced it under their lifetime warranty. So uh, top marks to them, even though that was caused by my own stupidity. Uh, very much uh, on the indulgent side, really, for 70 odd quid here in the UK for that uh, Leatherman uh, pocket multi-tool. But I do like mine and I do use it an awful lot. Uh, and finally, we're gonna round out this Christmas gift idea list. I think that's around about a, a, an even dozen with a sort of everyday carry utility knife, a pocket knife. Um, again, I've gone through so many of these, I've lost count, but the one I really, really like is the Stanley Quick Slide. It's very simple, it's very slim, it comes with a slightly hinky little sort of belt clip on it. You can just remove that very easily by taking out one screw. Uh, and the blade just slides out. It's simple, it's elegant, it, it's easy. The blade's just a standard Stanley blade, you can pick those up from any sort of hardware store. Uh, and with the blade slid back in, it's nice and slim, fits in your back pocket and you barely know it's there. Uh, great value, uh, around about seven pounds I think here in the UK, a little bit cheaper in the US. Uh, and absolutely fantastic to have with you because sometimes you don't need everything that a multi-tool provides, you just want to cut some polythene dust sheet or something. So that's it for the 10 minute workshop gift guide this week. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope you've uh, found some inspiration from what I've talked about there today. Um, whether you're looking for pocket money stocking fillers or something a little bit more indulgent, I hope there's uh, something brightly colored under your Christmas tree this year. Uh, if you've enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, share it amongst your friends, and please do consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. Or hey, just check back on a Friday when there's always something fresh up at noon. I'll see you then. Take care.